Let's keep it nice and simple, no fighting. Let's go with nice and easy. We right. Let's keep. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, we're gonna be making a really delicious meatloaf. It's super easy and only takes like about an hour and like 30 minutes, I would say. Not even like not even that much. But we're gonna do the essentials. So I have my cutting board right here, and then my knife. And then you need like one clove of garlic and then some onion. It's already peeling off. But you need some onion, like just like a little piece of it. Don't get too much. But yeah, we're just going to do that real quick. Okay, so this is how we're going to cut our onion. Just like cut a good piece. Maybe that's a little, not that little. But <laughs> Peel it off. Just kind of make those strips. You know to do so here we have our cubed onion already and then I used one garlic clove and you just cut into like a bunch of little pieces and then you put of course like the leftover onion back in the fridge but we're gonna go ahead and start on the next step okay so just a reminder one thing is like I do apologize for the lighting but I like this really long like white light in the kitchen and there's no sunlight over here. Like the only sunlight we get is from the doors over there. Okay, but now we're gonna get the stuff that we need for the meatloaf and that's in that pantry back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it. But if you're short like me, you need like kind of like a like a long ass spoon just to get some stuff done there. So I'm gonna attempt to, there we go. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need some breadcrumbs. Like I usually just use these plain breadcrumbs from H-E-B. It's like Hill Country Fair. It's like the cheapest one. You just need any type of breadcrumbs. Like literally, it makes it so easy. This is so it could stick with eggs. Another essential for meatloaf is Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure how to say it, but you need this sauce. Okay, and then another key essential is gonna be eggs, definitely. This goes with the breadcrumbs, so like it, when you mix it, it sticks together, so you can create like that meatloaf type of um, patty that you want. Okay, so meatloaf is super easy to cook, you guys. Like I'm not even kidding. All you need is like the simplest stuff. Like you're just gonna need some black pepper and some salt, and I'm gonna be using some sea salt. Definitely some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. And then um, I'm gonna be using this pan right here. I'm not really sure of the measurements. But um, I think I got this at H-E-B too, or Marshalls or something like that. Maybe raw. This can fit like about two pounds of meatloaf, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that one. Okay, so other key essentials you're gonna use, obviously, is gonna be ground beef. So today, I was only gonna use one pound, but my boyfriend really wants some like leftovers for the next day, so I'm gonna be using two pounds of ground beef. So I already have one here that's already defrosted, but I'm currently defrosting another one in water. Doesn't matter. And then just the plain old yellow mustard, you know, this is really good too for the key ingredients. And obviously you need some ketchup. I'm going ahead to use um, Hunt's tomato ketchup. I really like this ketchup, I'm not sure why. Okay, so we're also gonna be using barbecue sauce. And instead of going to the store and just buying barbecue sauce, we always get them from McDonald's. These are really good anyway. So we have a lot of these in the fridge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them to good use. But yeah, definitely you need barbecue sauce. So what I like to do first is obviously preheat my oven to 350. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I have a really old oven in my apartment, you guys. Just see it through here? Okay. I won't turn. Okay. There. Here we have our two pounds of ground beef. Um, so a lot of people, if you like to get your hands dirty, be my guest. You can use your hands or you can put gloves on your hands, whatever. But I'm going to be using like just a regular cooking spoon to mix everything together okay so this is what we're working with you guys here's our ground beef and um as we've seen before we already chopped up our onion and our garlic so we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there there we go you get that out of the way already it's okay you want to go ahead and just mix mix that together just so all of it can get some onion and um garlic there you go look that's how it looks like currently okay and then here we have some pepper that we're gonna add. If I could just pop it up. Okay, there you go. You kind of just season it like to your own liking. I mean, that's how us Mexicans do it, you guys. But like, I don't really know the measurements. I know they have them on Google. Um, they have them on YouTube and like other TikTok places too. But I'm just kind of measuring like by what I feel is good. So I have some sea salt. Okay. 
you do the same thing again, you just kind of mix it all together. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our ketchup and our mustard and our Worcestershire sauce. Again, like I don't have the exact measurements. I just do it by heart. Like I just do what I feel is right. So here I'm gonna add a couple of drops of that. Remember, we are cooking with two pounds of ground beef, so you want to make sure everything is seasoned perfectly. Then we have our ketchup right here. Wow, look at that. Okay. That, and that's good for now. Now we have our mustard. There we go. Put that in there. All right. This is what we're working with right now. We have our ketchup, mustard, and so Worcestershire sauce. We already have our onions and our garlic in there. Salt and pepper. Remember, this is two pounds of ground beef. So we're gonna go ahead and mix that together. So I'm just using my spoon. Like again, you can use your hands. It would probably make this easier, but I really don't feel like getting all dirty. Make sure everything gets on there. So like you have your meat right there. Make sure it goes everywhere. The next thing I'm going to put is my eggs. Okay, so I'm doing two pounds of meatloaf again. I'm repeating that so much, but just so you guys can know. So I'm going to be cracking two eggs in here. This helps a lot with the breadcrumbs for them to stick together. Okay. We have our two eggs in there. Woo. Okay, there we go. We have the two eggs, and then we go ahead and mix it together again. Okay. Mix it together. It does look like a pretty ugly mixture, but trust me, the taste is amazing. Okay, I am thinking of adding like a little bit more of everything, and now I'm gonna put the barbecue in too. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save two of these barbecues for when it's like almost ready. You put it on top so like the crust can be kind of barbecue-ish and it tastes so good, you guys. Okay, so we already have the eggs in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more of everything else, just like, oh, a few drops of Worcestershire sauce again. Okay, and then a little bit of ketchup. Put the squirt in there. Repeat the same process again, like, you know, mustard, everything. Let's just get out. <laughs> All right, some mustard. And then a little bit more salt. Okay, that's good. And let's just do another dash of pepper. I really like these grinders. They're just so fun to use. Okay, we already have that. Put everything to the side again. And now we're going to add our key essentials, the barbecue sauce. So I have four of these. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in there. There we go. Just kind of like plop it in there like that and sometimes I would use a spoon because you do want to make sure you get like all of the barbecue but if you just squeeze it like super tight I'm pretty sure it will all come out just like that you know actually I'm gonna get a napkin so I don't dirty anything again all over here that we just repeat the same process again just um, this is the second one that's going in Pero yo quisiera amanecer en un en una playa por Bali sin el canco. Feel the drums coming. Woo! There's that third one. Okay, and then here's our fourth barbecue sauce. Like, it usually just depends how much you like barbecue. If you don't want to taste it too much, then don't put that much. But my boyfriend loves barbecue. And honestly, like, all the flavors together just blend so well. Like, it does. you can't even taste it that much, honestly, in my opinion. But I love the McDonald's barbecue, so that's why I'm using it. Okay, now we have all our mixtures together. So now, look at that. So now we mix everything together again. Just to make sure that the whole meat that you put in here is marinated and, like, it's good. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to leave it overnight like to get mar fully marinated. Like, trust me, you will taste all the flavors. It's so good. This is a recipe I learned from my mom. And I'm pretty sure she learned it from my grandma. Um, but 
I'm not sure, but even if she didn't, like, this is the best recipe that I've ever tried. And guys, trust me, before, I did not like meatloaf at all until I tried my mom's recipe. Because she didn't really make it that much. And also, I was too picky to try it, but then I think when I was in high school or college, I don't remember. I think it was college, actually. I decided to give it a chance, and I loved it. So now I did this recipe for my boyfriend, and he loved it, too, and that's what he's craving today. So we're going to go ahead and put that. Okay. So everything's mixed together, and then you want to start adding your breadcrumbs. You can add little by little, or if you want to be like, um, you want to hurry it up, you can like just pop it all in there if you want. So again, like I'm not really sure of the measurements. I'm just kind of looking at it and deciding like, okay, this is good or this isn't good, you know. But it's gonna stick together. So I know a lot of people have like different ways of doing their meatloaf, but this is just how I do mine. And you can either do it this way or you cannot. I just really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it's super simple to make, honestly, and it tastes so good. Okay, now we're gonna add some more breadcrumbs. Okay, now it's getting, since we put the breadcrumbs, it is getting like a little more difficult to turn, but you just kind of like keep pushing it in there, keep make, mixing everything together, and like just so it can stick together. Also, like one thing that I kept messing up on is when I would take out the meatloaf, I would want to take it out of the pan so quickly and it wouldn't like stay put together. So also just make sure you wait like a while, like a good, like 15 to 20 minutes, maybe 30. Like if you're not in a rush, you can wait 30 minutes. But I think that's enough breadcrumbs, so I'm just going to put that away already. Okay, so now your oven should be preheated already. And you're going to cook two pounds of ground beef. Usually cook for like an hour, maybe an hour and 30, depending. Just like keep looking at it. Like in an hour, look at it. And if you, like if it looks good, like you check it. And if it doesn't like you know it's just by how you can see it also like obviously if the if the meat is pink obviously it's not done yet right but if it's like nice brown like a nice light brown color and if you want to cook it more like be my guess you know like it all just depends on how you like it okay so now we have our mixture ready and we're gonna go ahead and put it in our pan right here so it can go ahead and start cooking Woo! Did not mean that okay so i have some pan original that i'm gonna spray on it so I like to like get every little part of it just to make sure nothing sticks because if you are making a meatloaf you want to make sure that it comes off super smoothly so you get like every part of it just like so okay and then we're gonna start and putting our mixture on there it really doesn't matter like how you put it in there because eventually like it's still gonna stick together you just have to lay it flat on there Right, so you kind of just put it on there. It's kind of like a big, just a big meat patty, you know what I mean? You just put it everywhere, make sure like it sticks everywhere. Make sure it spreads everywhere, sorry, not sticks. Okay, so it is gonna look like a lot. Here's the last part. I'm just gonna put in there. Okay, you just kind of spread it around there. That makes it like easier to get. <laughs> Just like evenly spread everywhere and what's cool about ground beef is it creates its own juice in there you know so like you don't really need to add like oil or anything even though i did but it's just for the technically that's like just the non-stick spray you know so it's not really oily. 
Okay, so right here we have everything like evenly, um, and don't worry, when it cooks, like it'll get more um, evenly spread through there, but there's our mixture, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our oven already. Okay, so we just put the meatloaf in the oven right now. Um, remember, the temperature is gonna be at 350, and you're gonna cook it for like an hour to an hour and 30 minutes. Alright, you guys, so here's our yummy meatloaf so far, but remember I told you we were saving two of these so we can put them on top. So we're just putting those on the top and then we're gonna put it back in the oven for like a little while more all right y'all that's my meatloaf already and done look at that that looks gorgeous and then over here i have some corn with butter and i already made my mashed potatoes all right guys here's our finished product i didn't have i didn't want to wait because i was so hungry and beba was too so we kind of destroyed this piece but there's the other piece and then here we have our servings i made some corn and mashed potatoes and there's Bay. <laughs> he just got to work hello everybody <laughs> Mm. He's digging. He has his own plate, guys. He's not just eating the mashed potatoes. I know. <laughs> I'll pour. Mmm. <laughs> 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 oh, good. Best meatloaf ever, honestly. Success, guys. It's super delicious. You should try this recipe. Nice and simple. No fight. Let's go. We're nice and easy.